So, I've been watching the Detroit Lions since I was a kid. That's the area I grew up. It's one of my favorite teams, and I don't know why. This year, they're already three losses, three straight. They have no wins. They're already out of the playoffs. Detroit Lions are eliminated from the playoffs. You might not like that. You might disagree with it. Say, nah, they got to week 10 before that. No, Detroit Lions are eliminated from the playoffs again. We're looking at a winless season. I don't think Detroit is capable of winning a game. Here's some problems, right? First of all, they have no defense. Their entire defense is a fourth strain defense in any other team. They won't pay. The owner, apparently there's a girl, I watched the last game, they showed the owner. I have nothing against women in sports, but it didn't work out for Charlie Sheen and Cleveland Indians when they had a woman. They were trying, she was trying to make money selling the team. Maybe that's what she's doing. And to be honest, maybe that's what needs to happen is Detroit needs to move. Detroit's a city that needs a hero sports team. It's a city that's been through a lot, especially with Great Lakes Steel closing down one of the biggest River Rouge plants around. They already had a lot of job loss before that when the car manufacturers left because Ford, GM, Chevy, the poor decision making that they did affected everything. So Detroit, the massive job loss, the, uh, the corruption that's going on, they need something better. So when people turn on the lines, they need something they can cheer, right? Unfortunately, it's not been that way. Now with Matthew Stanford, it seemed like we had a chance, especially with Megatron or Johnson, receiving. One year he threw, what, 5,000 yards, right? 5,000 yards. And for what? They finally made the playoffs. Everybody was happy. I think they won, won 10 games that year, which is remarkable. They lost. I think we've been only two playoff games in like 20 years or something like that. Detroit is so bad out of the big four teams, out of the big four sports, you have football, basketball, baseball, and hockey. The Detroit Lions have the worst winning percentage out of any professional sports team there is. I'm not trying to be mean, but how is it that you're so bad that people are breaking records against you? How are you going to let a 65, 66, 67 yard kick? My God, the Ravens were so confident, they didn't even try to Hail Mary. They said, you know what, this is Detroit Lions. Go out there and kick. Meanwhile, Detroit's kicker, the second time he kicked 20 yards, he get paid six figures, maybe even a million, right? As a punter, that's a lot of money just for putting the ball, and you can only go 20 yards? Are you kidding me? If you are at home right now and you have an American football, go outside and kick it. If you made it 30 yards, try out for the Lions next year. You might have a legitimate chance to be their punter. That's how bad the Lions are. Their punter can't kick past 20 damn yards. Don't get me wrong, he had a great first punt. What happened after that? They used to be on Detroit. Their best players were the kickers and punters. Because they were on the field every four downs. Now you can't even count that. Used to be when you go to Pro Bowl, you had Detroit kicker there. Not no more. That's even gone. I saw their defensive back make a play after the offense for the Ravens had already made a first down and he flexes to the camera. His biceps, about that big. About two inches. My lord, eat something. You get paid. Eat. For love of man, eat. You're flexing your muscles, but you don't have anything to flex. My three-year-old girl has bigger biceps than you. I don't even have a three-year-old girl. The imaginary kid that I just made up has bigger biceps than the defensive backs in Detroit. Then you look at the offensive line. Jeez, oh, Pete, where's the meat? No wonder you guys are getting pushed around like you're nothing. You are nothing. You're paperweights. You're not even paperweights. Paper would move underneath you. You have no strength. Who's the strength conditioning coach of Detroit Lions? Do defensive back, same boat. Jeez, oh, Pete, where do you got? My Lord, it's so bad for Detroit. I just heard FEMA is sending them a paycheck. It's so bad for Detroit. There's no equivalent. There's nothing. So here's the thing. Since Detroit's been rebuilding for 200 years, Detroit Lions been rebuilding since day one. It come to the point, come to the conclusion. 
You need to stop buying tickets. We need to stop watching the lines. We need to stop supporting lines. We need to stop buying lines memorabilia. They're never going to win. You know it. I know it. The whole world knows it. Hoorah. Detroit Lions will never win. They will never go to the playoffs. They will never win a playoff game, let alone go to the Super Bowl, because they don't have the right owner. They don't have a committed owner. They don't even have the money to pay for a good defensive back, which is the reason why they lost the one playoff game that they did go to. Detroit right now is tied for another team for the most points scored against them. It's so easy to score in Detroit that even my ex-wife was like, geez, if you knew my ex-wife and how long she's been passed around, you know what scoring is. That's Detroit right now. You got high school teams in Michigan calling out the Detroit Lions wanting a piece of their little pansy butts. Got Allen Park, Farmington, Harrison, all the big name schools. Literally say, you know what? We're so good in high school, I bet you we could beat the Detroit Lions. You know what? You probably could. It wouldn't be hard to beat them. It really wouldn't. Jeez, old Pete's, man. It's like they have no pride. And you as the owner? What's wrong with you? That you can't afford a good defensive back? You can't afford a good linebacker? You can't afford to make sure your linemen are eating because they look underweight? Jeez, I'm 45 years old and I'm stronger than 90% of the day Detroit Lions. I don't even get paid to work out. And I could take half of them. I could. I watched their game footage. I watched it. I know what their weaknesses are. And if I could watch it at home, sure in hell, every NFL team is. And that's why they're getting beat. Because they have no strengths. They're all weak. Last year, I remember in, in 2A, a chat, we were talking about Matthew Stanford and why he should get traded. And I'm glad he did. Because Matthew Stanford deserves a chance to go to the Super Bowl. Matthew Stanford was a great quarterback that played for a crappy team. Just like Barry Sanders deserved to go to the Super Bowl, he never had a chance. Do you realize if Barry Sanders was on any other team, he probably had five, six Super Bowl rings. Same thing with Matthew Stanford. He wasted all that time with Detroit. You ever see when a draft pick gets number two, number three pick, and they go to Detroit, the look on their face, they're like, ah. Oh. It's like Eli Mann and what happened with him when he got tripped. Nobody wants to go to Detroit. You're the best college player out there. You're going to get drafted into Detroit. Look at their faces like, oh, jeez. Oh, oh, God, I got to go. Because they know their career's done. It's not even a challenge to beat Detroit. It really isn't. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm not trying to put them down. I'm not trying to roast them. They do that themselves. It's self-emulating. We cannot watch the Detroit Lions no more. We cannot support them no more. We need to stop. It's time for Detroit Lions to move to a city that they can win, but the owner needs to sell the team. She, he, the group of them, whoever it might be, they're not committed to Detroit Lions. They don't have the right coaching. They don't have the right group uh, supporting, for, like uh, health training coaches, the offensive line coach, the defensive line coach. They don't have the grade A team put together that it takes to even make it to the playoffs or be competitive. They are literally paying for the bottom of the barrel. That's what Detroit is. They are literally what you use for the toilet paper to scrape something. Detroit Lions are the worst of the worst of the worst and it's never going to end. I know it and you know it. It's time for Detroit Lions to move. They're done. Detroit Lions are officially eliminated this year from the playoffs. Why even bother showing up to play anymore? Just stay home, Detroit. Stay home. Just forfeit the season. Spare yourselves the humidity. Spare yourselves. Because when you go out in the field, people are laughing at you, man. You guys are being laughed at. You're being laughed at by millions. Oh, here comes Detroit. Well, that's a win. Do you realize by the time the ball gets kicked, the minute, minute, millisecond, the millisecond before that ball gets kicked, the other team already knows they won. That's how bad it is for Detroit. You guys had no chance, man. No chance. You guys are not committed. Your owner's not committed. The league's not going to be committed to you. You're never going to win. So why bother? Just give up. Forfeit the season. Make it easy for yourselves. Just stay home. Eat some ice cream. Put some weight on.